What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to give you my top five t-shirt blanks for printing your vintage designs. We're going to rank each t-shirt on how it fits, the wash, and overall feel, plus I'll let you know how much you can expect to pay for each option. Let's go. What's up everyone? So first of all, thank you to all the new subscribers that are here. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribed. The last three or four weeks have been pretty amazing in terms of how this channel has grown and how my Instagram page has grown. Um, so I only have you guys to thank for that. So thank you very much. So in today's video, I'm going to answer the number one question that I get. Now, if you've watched my top 10 FAQ video, this was deliberately left out because I didn't have a good answer at the time. This required me to do some research and like really source material for this video. So the question we're going to answer in today's video is what is the best t-shirt blank for printing vintage designs? A lot of the tutorials on my channel are based on, you know, bootleg style designs, vintage graphics, that sort of thing. So this is obviously a question that has come up a ton and I wanted to make sure I had the right answer for you guys. Um, a few of you had already DM me and I tried to give some advice and I was pretty much correct on the advice that I gave, but this basically solidified that for me. What we're gonna do today is uh, essentially rank each t-shirt in terms of its overall fit and its overall wash and feel. Then we're gonna look at how much it's gonna cost you per t-shirt blank. So without further delay, let's get into this list. So the first t-shirt that we have is the Next Level Inspired Dye t-shirt. This color is called Shadow. So a few things about Next Level, um, they definitely have some more like contemporary sort of fashion forward uh, garment styles. So if you're looking for garments that are a little bit more unique, not just like standard t-shirts and hoodies and long sleeves, the next level inspired dye t-shirt is not made in the USA. Um, it's probably safe to say that none of the next level products are made in the US. So if that's something that's important to you, you'll want to look elsewhere. So let's get into the fit of this t-shirt first. Um, I generally like my t-shirts a little bit more baggy, especially my vintage tees. Um, so for me, this is like a two out of five. It's pretty tight. The length is also fairly short. Um, the sleeves are short and they're pretty tight. So that's why I'm giving this a two out of five. I personally like a neckline that's a little bit tighter, but this was so tight that it was like hard for me to take off. Like I had to like struggle to get it over my head. So that's probably not a good thing. The wash and feel of this is probably a four out of five. Um, it has a nice fade to it. It's relatively lightweight. Um, so if you don't mind, you know, t-shirts fitting a little bit tighter, this would be a pretty good option. The color on this um, definitely looks vintage to me. I've gotten plenty of shirts that are true vintage t-shirts that are like this exact color. So, um, that's great. The price on this is about in the middle of the spectrum, leaning a little bit more towards the more expensive side. It's about $6 per t-shirt. One thing you really have to keep in mind when sourcing blanks is that you get what you pay for. So if you don't have the biggest budget, um, you know, it's gonna be really tough to get super high quality t-shirt blanks. That being said, you know, there's nothing wrong with starting at the low end of the spectrum saving a little bit more money so you can invest later, you know, as the brand grows, and then maybe, you know, you get better blanks or you outsource for custom blanks. Um, but this is a pretty decent starting point. There's also this random green shirt in the box that SNS Activewear sent me. So uh, shout out to them for the free uh, green shirt that I'll never wear. So next on the list, we have the Comfort Wash by Hanes t-shirt. This is, um, New Railroad Gray. Uh, this was the closest thing that I could see to you know anything that sort of had a vintage look to it. Um, yeah, I mean, we all know that Hanes is sort of a brand that is not necessarily known for the highest quality products. You know, they've been around forever. They're, you know, probably what you go to if you're like at Target or Walmart and you need like a quick five, you know, blank t-shirts, you maybe get a, a pack of Hanes shirts. 
Um, so this is going to fall on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of quality and price. That being said, since this is part of the Comfort Wash series, um, it's definitely a higher quality t-shirt than your standard Hanes blank. So this particular t-shirt, the Comfort Wash by Hanes, is also not made in the USA. So again, look elsewhere if that's something that's really important to you. The fit on this one is definitely better than the next level option, but it's still on the tighter side. Um, I found that the length was good, but again, the sleeves and just the overall fit was just like too tight for my taste. The wash and feel of this one is decent. I'm giving it a three out of five as well. Um, it's more so for the feel and less for the wash. I don't love this new railroad gray color. It sort of has like a almost a purplish tint to it. So yeah, personally, I'm not really into that. This t-shirt would be a good option if you were just starting out, um, because price-wise, it is on the lower end of the spectrum. This is around $4.50 to $5 per t-shirt. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly option that still sort of has, you know, an overall look and feel of a vintage t-shirt, this would be uh, a good bet. So moving on to the next t-shirt, um, we have what I would consider um, the best option in terms of a t-shirt actually looking like it could be vintage. This is the Alternative Apparel um, Distressed Heritage Tee. This color is Smoke Gray. And then I also got um, Dark Pigment Blue. This looked a little bit darker on the website, so I don't think I would print on this necessarily, but I just picked it up because I have seen um, plenty of vintage t-shirts that had sort of like a blue tint to it, so I just thought I would try it out. But the... Um, Smoke gray option is good. Like, it has a nice fade to it. It's, um, you know, obviously leaning more towards pure black as opposed to gray. The overall fit of this t-shirt, I'm giving a three out of five. Um, it's decent, it's a little bit snug, but the length is good. Um, the sleeves are good, they're not too tight. The best thing about this t-shirt, as I already mentioned, is that it does have a look and feel of a true vintage t-shirt. Um, I don't know if this will show up, but there is distressing on the collar. There's also distressing on the sleeves. And then at the bottom on the hem here, there's um, distressing as well. So it's very light distressing. It's not um, overly done. So, it, you know, it's not gonna like tear or anything like that. Um, but it just adds a nice touch and gives us a overall um, solid vintage feel. The Alternative Apparel um, Distressed Heritage t-shirt is super lightweight and it's not paper thin, but it is definitely the thinnest t-shirt out of any sample that I got. So if that's something that's important to you guys, um, definitely consider this one. The other cool thing about this shirt is that it's single stitched. So if you know anything about vintage t-shirts, um, you know, anything from the 80s or, you know, the early to mid 90s, maybe even the late 90s, is going to be single stitched. That is extremely hard to find from wholesalers in terms of blanks. So, you know, if that's important to you, this would be a great option. Now, the issue with this t-shirt is, you know, I've mentioned all the things like the distressing and the single stitching. Now that comes with a price. So this is going to cost you about $10 per t-shirt, which is obviously at the other end of the spectrum um, in terms of your budget. Like you really need to um, save up if you're going to use this blank. Next on deck, we have the Bella Canvas uh, Fast Fashion Heavyweight Street Tee. Um, Bella is a company that is very uh, conscious of trends. And this is a, this is dark gray, by the way. Um, but they're very conscious of trends. I remember when like the drop tail t-shirts were super hot, like 2013, 14, something like that. And uh, they were one of the first wholesale companies that I saw who offered them. And uh, I think maybe American Apparel did as well at the time. But uh, yeah, they're pretty uh, fashion forward and um, they are made in the USA. So I think that's um, a big reason why they're popular, at least here in the States. Um, I probably use Bella Canvas uh, more than any other company in terms of, um, you know, designing for artists and, and bands. 
So let's talk a bit about the fit of this t-shirt. Um, I'm giving it a five out of five because it is a boxy style t-shirt and it's fully committed. Um, some of the other t-shirts kind of played with the idea. It felt like of being like a boxy style shirt, but this one fully commits to it. Uh, the sleeves are loose. The neckline is good. It's, you know, shorter than your standard t-shirt, but it fits looser. So um, yeah, I have to give this a five out of five. I'm probably just gonna wear this blank. In terms of the overall wash and feel, I'm gonna give this a three out of five only because this is all about printing vintage designs. And if I saw a design printed on this shirt, I wouldn't think that it was vintage whatsoever. Um, I would, I'm almost leaning more towards, I'd give it like a two and a half if I, if I was doing halves, um, but I'm just giving it a three. Like it has a good feel to it. Like it has a nice weight. Um, it's it's on up the lighter side of heavyweight if that makes sense like it's it is lighter than the other heavyweight shirts that I got um, But yeah, I would give this a a three out of five One thing I will say about this t-shirt is that it's very well constructed. It's super high quality I think you can say that about most of Bell's products um, So if you're looking for something that isn't necessarily meant to look vintage you're more concerned about the fit and having that sort of boxy style uh, look to it, this is gonna be a really great option for you. Price-wise, we're pretty good. Like this is around $5.50 to $6 per shirt. So overall, considering the quality of this garment and um, you know the style of it, I think that's pretty decent. So if that's sort of the vibe you're going for, um, yeah, I would highly consider this option. The final t-shirt blank on this list is my personal favorite. It is the Comfort Colors Garment Dyed Heavyweight T-Shirt, and this color is Pepper. So, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a small, like, lighter area here. That's because I like this shirt so much that I wore it a couple times, and I already stained it. I'm not, like, a super grubby guy. I just uh, spilled some shit on it, so whatever. But that just goes to show you how much I like this t-shirt. So I feel like Comfort Colors has sort of made a name for themselves because of their pigment dyed garments. Um, you know, they have hoodies, long sleeve, uh, unisex t-shirts, women's t-shirts, and they all have this pigment dyed process. Essentially pigment dyed means that um, the colors are washed down so that they will age and soften over time. So that really lends itself to the overall vintage uh, feel and look of these t-shirts. Another cool thing about Comfort Colors is they offer a variety of colors. So along with this pepper uh, shade, I got graphite as well. And this sort of has um, more of a purple tint like I was mentioning earlier. And then I just got black just because I was hoping that it would be a little bit more faded uh, than this, but it's pretty much just true black. Um, that being said, this is my favorite um, for a few reasons. The overall fit, in my opinion, is a five out of five. Um, this fits almost like a like a 90s Brockham t-shirt, if anyone's familiar with that. Um, they're like one of the most iconic vintage uh, t-shirt brands from the 80s and 90s. And this sort of has that like loose, like boxy-esque feel. The sleeves are on the looser side of things, so for me, like that's pretty clutch. This is honestly close to like a contemporary brand like Yeezy or like Fear of God where like if you wear a XL t-shirt normally, like I have to buy large in Yeezy or Fear of God because they're an oversized fit. So this is sort of on par with that. The wash and feel of this one, I'm gonna give a four out of five. Um, I would give it a five out of five, but I'm comparing it to that alternative apparel example, which you know, had the distressing throughout and it was a little bit more thin, you know, to the touch, so it had more of a vintage feel. Um, but this one is still really, really solid. Again, this is just my personal preference for what I'm looking for in vintage t-shirts. Um, anything that I buy, I like to be a little bit looser feeling. I don't like shit that's super tight on me. So um, yeah, this is gonna be my go-to if and when I do a brand, you will know that they are comfort color blanks. Finally, the price on this one is pretty good. It's five bucks a t-shirt. So it's kind of right in the middle of the spectrum. So, I mean, overall, man, like between how it fits and the feel and wash and the price, 
this would be my go-to. So that is it for today. Hopefully I was able to answer this question that so many of you guys had. Um, I did give suggestions to a few of you prior to making this video. And um, if you look at my message, it was pretty much right on. I, I suggested comfort colors and Bella. So, you know, that's what kind of came up on top today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Um, I would really appreciate it. And definitely comment below if you have any questions about the blanks that I went through in this video, if there's anything you want to see in future videos, um, anything that you want me to go more into detail about, you can always DM me as well. Find me on Instagram. It is at fuller.moe. Give me a follow, shoot me a DM, and I will answer any questions that you guys have. If you're not already subscribed, you know, I would highly suggest you do that, especially if you're into you know, anything related to t-shirt design or streetwear or starting your own clothing brand. Um, I have a ton of advice and tutorials that is completely free on this channel. So um, you'll definitely want to stick around for that. I hope that everyone is staying safe, but also staying motivated because this momentum we have going with Black Lives Matter is so goddamn important. Um, you know, whether you're donating your time, donating money, you know, posting links, posting, you know, messages from other people, posting videos of protests that are going on. Anything and everything helps. Um, I'm doing, you know, what I can between donating money and, you know, attending marches, peaceful protests, all that stuff. And honestly, it's the very least I can do. It will never be enough, um, but I am doing whatever I can and I hope that you guys are too. So that is it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.